It's April 2005. White smoke rises from a chimney above the Vatican. A new pope, the 265th leader of the Catholic Church, has been elected. Pope Benedict XVI, aged 78, became the oldest newly elected pope since the 1700s, but also the first German head of the Catholic Church in centuries. Born Joseph Ratzinger in 1927, he lived with his Catholic family in Bavaria. Although his parents were anti-Nazi, Ratzinger was a member of the Hitler Youth. By the end of the Second World War, he was serving as a German soldier. Unwilling to fight, he deserted and was briefly held as a prisoner of war by the Americans. Ratzinger was ordained as a priest in 1951 and was awarded a doctorate in theology at the University of Munich a few years later. He taught at a number of universities before becoming the Archbishop of Munich and Reisling in 1977. He grew close to Pope John Paul II and became one of his closest advisers. Pope John Paul II died in April 2005. Joseph Ratzinger was elected head of the Catholic Church and became Pope Benedict for 16th. He continued the legacy of his predecessor by speaking to other religious leaders, particularly Judaism and Islam. He aims to revitalize the church in Europe and maintains traditional Catholic values relating to sexuality and priestly celibacy. He visited a number of countries in the early years of his papacy, including new guidelines allowing more use of the Latin Mass. He directly addressed historical sexual abuse within the Catholic Church, speaking out against it during a visit to the United Nations, but he came under media scrutiny in his alleged role in the cover-up of sexual and physical abuse cases by parish priests and in schools. The Vatican denounced the allegations as false and calumnious and said its handling of the cases showed wisdom and firmness. In 2013, Pope Benedict XVI announced his imminent resignation due to old age and ill health, making him the first pope in some 600 years to resign. More than 50,000 people crowded St Peter's Square to watch his final public address. In this year's post-Christmas statement, Pope Francis made a surprise appeal at the end of his address to ask for prayers for former Pope Benedict, saying he was very sick. The Vatican issued a statement that he was receiving constant medical care. But soon after, the 95-year-old passed away in the Vatican, the home of the institution he'd dedicated more than 70 years of his life to. Cameron Walker, GB News.